bus workers are taking part in the first of many strikes today in a dispute with management about pay. Workers have gathered here at Callaghan Square and will march to Central Library to rally after a dispute over a 5% pay rise by 2016. The dispute comes after lengthy talks between Unite, Cardiff bus workers and management proved unsuccessful. Well, our members, uh, the Cardiff bus workers, are on strike today because they're fighting for a fair pay offer from the company. And unfortunately, the, the company have broken down those talks, and so we're, we're not able to reach agreement. We're obviously hopeful of having a negotiated settlement, but now that the, the negotiations have stopped, uh, then industrial action, unfortunately, has to take place. And um, what are you hoping today will achieve? Well, what I'm hoping today, personally as a negotiator, is that the company will recognise the strength of feeling that our members have behind their pay, pay talks and come back uh, for meaningful negotiations back to the negotiating table. That's what we're hoping to achieve so that we can get a negotiated settlement, our members can go back to work and car carry on driving uh, people in Cardiff around the, the streets and cities of Cardiff. OK, so um, why have you chosen now to strike? Obviously, we've got the Rugby World Cup and things coming up. Why, why now? Well, there's no good time to have a strike, to be honest with you. And, and by the way, our members don't like to strike because it costs them money. But the, the timing of the dispute is set, unfortunately, by the draconian balloting procedures that we have. We have to give a certain amount of notice uh, you know, to the company for strike action. And unfortunately, it has fallen on a day uh, you know, uh, which is coming near to the Rugby World Cup. It's very unfortunate. But let me just say this. Our members don't want to be on strike. They want to be back to work. Well, I'm joining my uh, brothers and sisters in solidarity because we haven't had a pay rise for quite some time. And I think it's only right that well, we're not asking for much, we're only asking for 4%. And that equates to 1% over the past four years. That's hardly too much to ask for. Okay, and um, with the talks that have happened so far, have they just not been successful with Cardiff Bar? Not at all. I just don't think they want to budge. They just don't want to listen. They don't understand how many drivers are suffering out there with the, uh, with the struggles of daily life. Uh, there's so many using food banks, and I think they should be looking at that. Uh, they need to come out of that office and come and have a look and speak to us and just find out how bad we're struggling. Okay, and what are you hoping today will achieve? Well, I'm, we're hoping to, to highlight our plight. We didn't want to strike. We apologise for any inconvenience caused. We've been forced into this, and all we're asking uh, is for the public to support us and hopefully get back into the negotiation table uh, and give, come up with a proper negotiation. Everybody here is on strike because they don't feel they have any other option. Uh, the employer has refused to negotiate with us on restructuring or improving the offer that's been on the table for a number of months now. And... Um, it appears as though it's kind of like a standoff to say, well, just accept what's on the table. Our members have said no by a massive majority, and 83% of them have uh, voted to express their concern and their outrage and have taken strike action. And what are you hoping today will achieve? We're hoping that the employer will sit down with us as soon as possible and negotiate an improved offer, which reflects the uh, aspirations of our members, which I think they made very, very clear today. And um, according to Cardiff Bus, obviously you've been offered a 5% pay rise over the next two years. What is it you're actually wanting from this? That's factually incorrect, as has an awful lot of the press releases that Cardiff Bus have put out. Our members went in looking for a 4% pay rise, never 5 The employer has tabled what they claim to be a 3% pay rise, which is partially funded by incorporation of their bonus, therefore self-funded by them. And, uh, we tried to agree a 3% pay rise, which would have avoided this which would have been a restructure by moving money from year two to year one. The employer would not engage in discussions with us on that. And uh, unfortunately, our members have lost money by having to take action today. And I think the great deal of them are going to want to hold out for 4%. Now. And so do you think it's going to be successful? Do you think this is going to make a difference? We really hope so. Nobody here, particularly the, the bus drivers in Cardiff, want to cause any upset to the public. I know, not being from Cardiff, that they're absolutely mad into rugby. Um, and they really don't want to be having to take any action during the Rugby World Cup. They want people in Cardiff to have a great time. And there's no reason why they can't. It's just about restructuring the offer that's already on the table and sitting down with us to negotiate. The strikes will continue over the next coming months and during the Rugby World Cup. This is Laura Allen from The Hayes for Hello Cardiff.